Hi everyone, welcome back to Wisdom's Tech News and Reviews. Today we've got an exciting heart rate accuracy test between the Huawei Band 6 as well as the Mi Watch, aka the Mi Watch Color by Xiaomi. So this heart rate accuracy test was actually done during my 90 minute workout with my coach in the park. I was doing boxer size. So this is basically where my coach and I, we put the mitts on and we spar it out in the park on the fresh air. It's a great cardio workout. It's lots of fun. And the best thing is in this particular test, we will see that the heart rate is all over the show because you sometimes you get your breaks, but mostly it's a cardio and it's a very intense activity. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the results of this accuracy test. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Let me quickly introduce the two opponents. So the Huawei Band 6, it's been with us for quite a while now, about half a year. And we know that it's got exactly the same display as the Honor Band 6, 1.47 inches AMOLED. And it looks amazing. It's brim to brim. The bezels are there, but they're not that thick. Now with the Huawei Band 6, 90 sport modes, continuous SPO2 monitoring. That's really all you can ask for, for a price of just 45 pounds or just under 60 bucks. Now with the Mi Watch, well, it's slightly more expensive, but not much, only about twice as expensive. So you're looking at about 80 to 90 pounds, depending on where you get it or just under a hundred bucks. Now this watch has 117 sport modes. It's got Amazon's Alexa. So it does have a microphone. You speak into it, you speak to Alexa. You can get directions, you can get the weather, you can ask for a joke or a shopping list if you want to record anything on there. You can actually even set alarms using Alexa. So that is great. It's a very nice sort of trick. It's trendy and it is quite useful on a very budget price watch. It's also got a massive display almost 1.4 inches it's amoled it is just so bright the only mm, point i'd like to mention is that the screen probably doesn't have the deep blacks as i would expect on a great resolution display as it gets it's a great resolution but it's just the blacks are not deep enough but that's a minor point because it has so much things to offer it's got an always on display it's even got an auto brightness sensor so it's got an ambient light sensor and that means that you can set it onto auto brightness it's got inbuilt gps this is a full-on sport watch it's got music controls there's no allocated storage on it unfortunately but really you do get a lot of sporty features on this watch there are heaps of auto detective sport modes you've got an spo2 sensor on it as well unfortunately it's not continuous it's only spot readings so basically you press a button and you wait for the spo2 reading to take place now it's not as useful or as functional as a continuous spo2 monitor but it's still nice to have so both watches do continuous hr monitoring so heart rate monitoring both also cover you in terms of sleep monitoring you get three sleep stages so you like your deep and rem sleep you do get a sleep score you get recommendations on how to improve it and just a minor point here so even though the huawei actually uses the huawei true sleep technology which was developed in conjunction with the harvard medical school it is a very accurate sleep monitor the xiaomi sleep monitor is probably not as accurate well it's still very good but it's just not as accurate as the huawei true sleep technology but every morning you wake up you can see your sleep score and the actual sleep analysis the sleep chart right on your watch face it means you don't need to go to your app and that is very handy i think that has been well thought through in the xiaomi anyways enough about the two watches let's get into this massive heart rate accuracy test because usually the tests are between 20 minutes to maybe an hour here the test was 90 minutes long actually just over it so there we go first of all we'll start with the results from the polar h10 ecg chest strap then we'll get onto the results from the xiaomi mi watch and then we'll take a look at the results from the huawei 
band six. Let's get into it. So firstly, let's take a look at the heart rate as registered by the ECG chest strap. And we can see that the average was registered at 124 beats per minute, while the max was registered at 159 beats per minute. So now let's take a look at what the Mi Watch has actually come up with. So if we take a look at the results from the Mi Watch, I was shocked because these results are excellent. Now, considering that the ECG chest strap is sitting on your chest right next to your heart, you do expect it to give you very accurate, well, basically the true results. Now, with a smartwatch, you're using the optical heart rate sensor emitting green light, waiting for its reflections back to it on the photodiode to measure your heart rate. Now, we don't expect the optical heart rate sensors to be spot on and tracing the ECG chest straps. But what we see with the Mi Watch, this optical heart rate sensor is amazing and particularly at the cost at which you actually get the watch. Anyways, let's take a look at the results. So we see that the average heart rate was measured at 121 beats per minute. So that is just three beats per minute understatement of the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. And the max was measured at 160 beats per minute. So again, just showing how well the peaks were actually traced. That's only one beat per minute overstatement from the chest strap. Anyways, great result from the Xiaomi. Let's take a look at what the Huawei has come up with. Now, the Huawei Band 6 is no slouch either. We've been comparing it against so many very expensive smartwatches as well as the cheap trackers. And mostly, in some cases, it did lose its battle, but very slightly. But usually, the Huawei Band 6 has shown that it does have a very accurate optical heart rate sensor on the back of its case. And today, same. Let's take a look at the average. The average shows us 123 beats per minute. Can you imagine? That's just one beat per minute off from the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. And this is over such a long period of time. That's 90 minutes of continuous exercise. Now let's take a look at the max and it shows us 157 beats per minute. And that is just two beats per minute off from the peak of the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. Also a great result. Anyways, let's summarize. So we can see that the Mi Watch did a great job. It came a bit closer at registering the peak. So there's an overstatement of one beat per minute, while the Huawei does an understatement of two beats per minute. In either case, these results are great. They are within one to one and a half percent variance from the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. If we talk about the average, well, the Mi Watch was off by three beats per minute or three beats per minute understatement. Again, that's not too bad. That's around two and a half percent difference. While if we take a look at the Huawei Band 6, one beat per minute understatement. That's less than one percent. How much better can these results be on either watches? So the Huawei Band 6, I think is the winner here, but only by a sliver. The Xiaomi Mi Watch, unbelievable. Well, I didn't expect it because it's got so many features. I thought that maybe the sensors are not the best. Well, obviously not. The optical heart rate sensor on the back of this thing is powerful and accurate. I think we just have to test the GPS on this thing and then we can call it almost a perfect budget smartwatch. Anyways, thank you for watching this review and accuracy test of the Xiaomi Mi Watch versus the Huawei Band 6. If you did enjoy the review, please drop me a like. And if you want to see more of the same, please click the red subscribe button below the video. And I'll see you in the next one.